Hi, Class of 2020, and welcome to this episode of 30 Days of Duke. Ali, Laura, and Dean Sue are on East Campus right now. Take it away, ladies. Hi, Class of 2020. I'm Allie. And I'm Laura. And we're reporting live right outside East Campus at the Bull City Connector bus stop, a free bus that all students can take. Today, we're here with Dean Sue, the dean of students who happens to also live in the Gilbert Adams dorm. She's going to be taking us to a few stops of her favorite places around Durham. So let's start and hop on the Bull City Connector. Now where do we want to get off? So Dean Sue, can you tell us a little bit about your favorite part of Durham? Well, I love downtown. I really do love to go downtown. You know, Durham has had a renaissance of sorts and there are so many restaurants and fun places to go. There's an awesome farmer's market on Saturday. And every day of the week, students can visit the Durham History Hub and learn a bit about Durham and also where Duke fits into the history of Durham. So um, I, I have so many places I like to go. Hopefully we'll hit a couple of them today. Awesome. Um, we're on Main Street, and so we can actually walk from East Campus to downtown or we can take the free bus that runs, I think, every 15 or 20 minutes. And it's right, a bus stop is right across from East Campus, which is where now we got on. Right <laughs> and as we were just told, this is the Brightleaf District. And what's neat about this district is it used to all be tobacco manufacturing and tobacco warehouses. And the Brightleaf area has been converted to shops and restaurants, again, within walking distance of East. Um, as soon as we cross this street, though, we begin to enter downtown. And that's where all the fun stuff starts with restaurants and hotels and the Durham Performing Arts Center and the Durham Bulls Park. So as a student, should I feel comfortable wandering downtown by myself or? Well, you know, I always encourage students wherever they're going to go in groups. It's just a lot more fun that way. And I think, I think you know, by and large, it's also just a safer way to travel. But I think you can always feel comfortable hopping on the Bull City Connector, walking downtown, grabbing a friend, um, and and looking out for each other, you know, wherever you're going. There's an um, um, innovation and entrepreneurship space that, again, Duke has partnered with a number of other businesses in town, and it's called the Bullpen. The part of it that's Duke-related is called the Bullpen. And I learned the other day that there have been over 6,500 people who have already used the Bullpen to engage in startup kinds of operations or to have a special event. And it is beautiful, beautiful space. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, so Thanks you. Have a good day. Have a good day. All right. <laughs> and we watched the most phenomenal jazz performance. And I, it was like 15 students who had never been downtown, who had not been to the Deepak, who had not been to a restaurant on Main Street. And it was like this whole new world opened up this one night just because we came downtown. It was, it was awesome. I love bringing people downtown. And thank you, Dean Sue, for joining us and showing us downtown Durham. It's been my pleasure. <laughs> Back to the studio. Why was I invited to that? A anyways, anyways. Make sure to tune in tomorrow at noon for another great episode of 30 Days to Duke.